Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I'll show you a couple of Windows 10 services that you should actually disable in order to get better performance. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as always in order to get to the services that we should be actually disabling you can just right click on your taskbar as you can see here and go to task manager okay and go to the services tab pretty easy pretty straightforward okay you can also if you want open services here there is a link at the bottom of the window you can click on it and you will get another window that contains only the services that are actually running or stopped in your system but let's stick with the, the previous window here because it's uh, more readable and have actually some details so as i told you on my last video there are a couple of windows 10 services that are running by default and that may cause performance for your pc because they may be running at the background so it's better to disable them if you don't need them so in this video i will go deep into each service not each service but the most important services that you should disable in order to get the best result but keep in mind that if you install some third-party programs or applications you will find another services that will be added to this window so it depends actually on your PC but here I'm going to show you just the most common one that you can find in every Windows 10 PC computer okay so let's begin so the most or the first service that I will show you and that should be actually disabled but if you don't have actually an antivirus you should keep it running but if you have an antivirus you should disable it so here I will go to the column description I will just clip, click on the first column here or the first row in order to sort it by alphabetical order so I will get a better view and I will go easily to each service so the service is called Windows Defender so here you can see Windows Defender okay so here you can see a couple of descriptions that begin with Windows Defender so you can see for example here Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection Service Defender also Windows Defender Antivirus Network Inspection Service and Windows Defender Anti-Service antivirus service and the Windows Defender firewall okay so actually as you can see here whenever you install an antivirus which I have you should be or you should disable these services okay the only one that remains is Windows Defender firewall and if you notice if you want to disable it the operation could not be completed because access is denied I am the admin in this PC but even that I cannot actually stop the service because there are some services that are built in Windows 10 and you cannot disable it okay so it's okay to let this Windows Defender firewall and disable only those three ones okay second service that you should disable is Windows Mobile Hotspot so let's search for it here we go so this is the windows mobile hotspot service so actually this service allows your mobile devices to share internet connection with your pc so if you don't have any mobile device that share connection or internet or data with your pc you should actually disable this service okay another service that you should turn off is the bluetooth support so i will go here at the beginning 
and here you can see I have a couple of Bluetooth services. So I have Bluetooth audio getaway service, Bluetooth support service, Bluetooth user support service. So all the services can be actually turned off if you don't have any material that are using Bluetooth with your PC. So if you don't have a keyboard or Bluetooth keyboard or Bluetooth mouse or something else, you can go and turn off these services. The next service that you can also turn off is the print spooler. Print spooler, let's go down to the P letter, here we go, print spooler. Print spooler actually allows you to manage the print job into your PC sent by your printer. So if you don't have any printer device attached to your PC, you can go and turn off the service. Okay. There is also another service, which is the fax service. Here we go. So if you don't have any fax device attached to your PC, you can go on and disable this service also by right clicking and hit the stop menu here, as you can see. Okay. Another service is the remote desktop services. So I will go down and search for remote. So you can see here I have a couple of services, remote desktop configuration, remote desktop services, and remote desktop services user mode port redirector. So if you don't connect to any remote computer using your PC, or if no one is connecting your PC via a remote desktop, you can go on and turn off their services. So if you are the only one that you're using your PC and you don't use a remote desktop in order to connect to the PC here, you can just turn off these three services. Okay. Another not important service is the Windows Insider service. Here we go. So what is the Windows Insider service? So actually the service allows you to preview the incoming build or version of Windows 10. But you should actually be subscribed to the Windows Insider program in order to get this incoming or previews of Windows 10. Okay. So it's better to disable this service if you don't have any uh, Windows Service Insider program attached to it. Okay. Another service that you can also turn off is the secondary logon. So secondary logon service. So this is the one. So. This service allows you to log on to your PC without an admin actually account. So if you want to use your PC without administrative privileges, you can go on and disable this service. Okay. Another service that you can also disable is the touch keyboard and handwriting. Let me see where it is. So this is the touch keyboard and handwriting panel service. So if you don't have actually a touch screen when you can type your keyboard into your screen, you can go on and disable the service. Another service is the smart card service. So the smart card service, here we go. So this service allows you to log on to your PC using smart card. So if you don't have if you don't have any smart card material that allows you to log on to your PC using smart card, you can just go on and disable these through three actually services. So as you can see here is smart card, smart card device enumeration service, smart card renewal policy. So you can disable this three one if you want. 
okay and also a very very hidden service is called connected so as you can see here connected user experiences and telemetry so what does this service do so actually the service sends some data to microsoft about how are you using windows so if you are fearing that some data will be transmitted to microsoft without your knowledge you should disable the service and keep in mind it's by default turned on so in order to send any problem that you have in windows to microsoft but you can just go on and disable the service so any data from your pc will not go to the microsoft servers okay another service also that you can disable is geo location service so as you can see here so if you don't have any device that are using geolocation you can just turn on this turn off this service okay so as you can see here i stopped it and the last service that you should also disable is the windows biometric service so the windows biometric service also use some biometric devices in order to get in touch with your pc so sometimes you need for example fingerprints in order to log on to your pc you have a special device that has a, p a finger print uh, scanner in order to let you log on to your pc so if you don't have any device that are using biometric data you can just go on and disable all the service okay so just keep in mind i showed you just the most important one but you can find also a lot of services that are not necessary for your pc and you can go on and disable it so it depends on the program that you have installed into your machine and you can just go here in the description column and go and search in google for the meaning of the services and you can see if they are necessary or unnecessary for the functioning of your windows 10 machine so that was just a brief introduction on some services that actually you can go and turn off in order to optimize your windows 10 and get a better performance for your user experience so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye